guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla. Today we are going to draw Nala from Disney's The Lion King. Now this is the cartoon version, the original animated version. So let's go ahead, and this is adult Nala, so let's go ahead and get started. What I want to do first is, um, we're not going to do her whole, we're not going to draw her whole body, we're just going to draw like from her face and down just a little bit. So you're actually going to go ahead and start off with this kind of weird, kind of squarish circle. So I'm just going to go ahead and round it out just a little bit more, round this out. And then I'm actually going to still give like a nose guideline all the way to the side. And I'm actually going to go from that nose guideline, I'm going to bring it out and then go in and kind of curve it upward and back into that part of her head. I'm roughly placing everything and bring down her neck. So you're going to go underneath and I'm actually going to go ahead, bring this up and I'm going to jump back here behind her head, bring this part right here, and then I'm actually going to jump back here. So this part of her body is going to circle around, and then we're going to bring down this side, bring this part down, and then we'll stop there for now. So let's go ahead and jump into her face and give her some more details into her face. And go ahead and give her those eye guidelines. Now, Disney animals are very complicated, so they have this weird like segment around their eyes, especially Disney lions. So I'm gonna jump over here, bring up this section of her eye. So from the left side, bring it up and go off to the side of her eye. Then I'm gonna jump over here. So we see we have this eye guideline. And I just wanna jump up off to the side and then kind of curve it around and back to that bottom. So this big section of her eye. All right, we're gonna shape up this side later. So from here, from the corner of the right eye, you're gonna go in just a little bit and then inside there, you're gonna jump inside, and then I'm gonna, you make this round part, and you're gonna go to here, and also make sure that's where it's like leading up. So we have this section on top, and then a section at the bottom. From this corner, you're gonna go in, and curve up. You're actually gonna bring up her pupil iris area, jump inside and just define that pupil. Give a little bit of a shine into her eye. Now for her top eye line, you're gonna make it nice and thick. And at the corner where we made this line, you're gonna bring it up and you're gonna make that really thick to kind of represent an eyelash clump for her eyes. Now you're gonna go underneath and make sure it's nice and dark underneath. And then this part right here is a very thick corner. Then going on top right here from the top of her eyelash line, you're going to go up and bring it down. And then on top of that eyelid line from here, Starting from here to here, you're going to make a nice thick eyebrow line, or just eyebrow. <laughs> Alrighty, so from the bottom right here, you're going to kind of diagonal this off just a little bit, just this part, so you make that a little bit more squarish, and keep this nice and flowy down to that corner. Now from over here, jump over to this eye. Let's shape up her nose before we actually apply this part of her eye. So from here, you're gonna go down 
and then out. So you go down, and then from right here, you're going to curve this inward, and once again, this, from if you saw the Simba tutorial, this eye part, this corner, leads, lines up to her nose. So it's not real, the line is not connecting, but it still leads. It's a good guideline to have when drawing the lines. So you go up and then the corner of her nose. So you curve this upward, corner of her nose will line up to this line. And then go down. So this goes curves down and then you make like this little corner going up leave a little bit of this line but it should not be connecting so just you just leave a little bit of a blank space right there and that's what you need and then you want to go ahead and just give a little bit of an indention to where her mouth is going to go you go out from her nose Bring this out just a little bit. Round this down. Bring go out. Bring the round this down. And then you're gonna bring this. You're gonna go up with that smile line. And you got her smile. And then coming down from her smile line, starting on the left side. You're going to bring it out just a little bit, so you go down, bring it down, square it off, make a line. Now, jumping back up to this eye over here. So from here, what you're going to do from this eyebrow line you're actually going to bring out the eyebrow line first. Then from the eyebrow line, you're going to go down and then out and back in. So it goes down from the eyebrow line, just curve it down and then back in. And you should line up on here. And then from this part, you're actually going to curve it down. Then jumping inside, going up from the corner of her nose, you're going to go up. So you bring up this eyelash line and you're going to curve it down. You still have this section of her eye underneath. So you make sure you keep that section. Make that nice thick line and the eyelash should be going outwards. And I'm going to go ahead and give that pupil iris line. That pupil iris area go right in here. We really need to clear up some of these guidelines really fast. So we have this eyelash line here then we have an eyelid going up and off to the side and this should be curving up nice and thick at the bottom much thicker. There we go. 
Then I'm gonna make a nostril in that her nose. All right, so we just wanna make sure everything is nice and flowing. So from her eyebrow, you're gonna go up. And then you're gonna round off this part of her head. So you go up, round off this part of her head. Bring this down and you're gonna go out. So you bring out her ear from here, curve back in. Same over off to the side right here from this flat section we made from her head. You're actually going to go up, round this off, and then go back in. So you go up and down. And you're going to make a curve right here. Off to the side, so you're going to bring up this part here. Bring out this part, round off this part of the bottom, curve it down, go back into her head. Then from here, you're gonna go out, and then in, and then you're gonna make this more of a final line right here. And then from this part that we just made, you're gonna curve this down This whole section here is light brown. And then we have this part right here. Keep this nice and rounded. We give her a little bit of wispies at her bottom of her mouth. And then this should flow into each other. And like Simba, she has a little section. It's not a definite line, but it's a coloring line where it's this cream section compared to the rest of her brown fur. So for the rest of her body, you're actually gonna go behind her ear. I'm gonna bring down her neck. So her neck underneath her chin should still be right here, that one part of the section of her neck. Bring down this part. Then her shoulder blade goes down and then this part of her you're gonna go you're gonna look kind of line it up round this part of her shoulder blade in then you're gonna bring down this part of her neck kind of go out And this part of her shoulder should go out and then in. And then we have her leg here. And then we have a division right here. So from her shoulder blade back here, you're going to bring down this part of her back and then from this part it's going to line up and then down and then from this part you're going to swoop in and go inwards this part goes in and then down you see how it matches up with the rest of her leg and then from this part of her body, you're gonna bring out this leg as well. And then there's like another color division. And underneath right here, we have a big color division as well. So you're gonna go out. So it starts from underneath her chin.
and it goes all the way underneath her belly. So I'm gonna go ahead and zoom out and show some color differences a little bit. There you guys go. There's how to draw Nala from Disney's The Lion King. I hope you all will go see the Disney live action version of The Lion King. I'm so excited. I hope you guys have a most wonderful day and I will see you all later. 